me. Okay, I'm going to start this pan of canvas by adding some gesso as a base. This is part of the 100 day project. I dry out the gesso and then I'm adding a light yellow acrylic. I'm watering it down to give it more of a wash and give um, go with the gesso with the wash. And um, when I do it, I also make sure to do all the edges so it's more like a continuation of the painting along the sides. So no matter which way you see it, it looks good. Okay, now I'm going to dry that. And once I do that, I'm going to add the okra and a little bit of white gesso, a little water, and I'm going to give this a coat. Make sure to do the sides too. Okay, now I'm going to dry that coat. Next I'm adding a little bit of gr light green to the yellows, mixing it up. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit more green to it and also a little bit of white gesso so I can get the right color. I want it to be a, a yellow green, just a hint of the green. And I'm going to go over that, add a little water, give it a wash back, go over that whole canvas again and now um, once I get a good coat on it I'm going to spray it with water let that water set up a little bit and then I'm going to go over it with some tissue deli paper actually and just um, take off some of the coats it's going to leave it with a nice texture where the other colors come through I don't know if you could see it good in here Next, I'm just putting a little bit more of that uh, leftover paint on top, and I'm creating some texture, moving it all over the canvas to pull off those other coats below. And I'm using a wavy blade that you use with polymer clay. I'm going to dry that coat, and this is more of a close-up of um, the effect. Okay, now, um, this is something I decided to do maybe to offset. Um, I like to do this with all my stamps. Um, those are some of my handmade stamps. Some are hand carved. That one in particular one is, and that one is a corn pad for your feet. And what I did was I just split it up into two pieces there and now I'm um, using it to print onto the tissue paper or deli paper, I'm sorry. And I like the way that it, it, it they're not all solid. I like how they're grungy looking. That's the other corn pad. Um, some dots. Not really sure which design I'm going to use, if any or all of them. This is one of my hand carved stamps. Okay, so I'm just making a whole sheet of those and I'll decide later what to do. Okay, this is some hand painted paper that I use with um, the greens and the and some orange, um, neon orange, and some of the okra. I'm just going to cut up a few pieces and using the Liquitex matte medium, I'm going to adhere a few pieces to the canvas. Put on the back, the air bubbles out, and put a coat on top to seal it. And it adheres really good to the edges. So I'm just placing them randomly. Okay, after I got a couple tissues pieces on there, I decided to do a little bit of stamping with some background. And I'm doing it in the okra color. And it's just to give it some, you know, built up layers and texture to the background. So going around, adding it to the edges too. So it's one continuous piece. And I'm going to add some more of the tissue painted paper. I keep saying tissue paper, it's deli paper. I'm going to overlap some of the other previous pieces. That'll give it some depth, some texture, dimension.
perfect mix of colors there the yellows the okras greens now I'm adding glazing medium to the okra paint and a little bit of gesso and I'm just going to um, put a little white on there a little light okra and then pull it off with the deli paper just do it randomly around just to give it some more layers do it on the edges put it on pull it off and then I'm gonna just put a little bit on scribble it with the end of the brush in a couple places just building up more textures and more dimension okay now I trying to was trying to decide which one I was used and I decided I'd use that um, painted stamp that I made here I'm just using a dot and I'm using some glitter green I did a couple places sorry that it's out of, out of the frame but now a little bit more of the okra on that um, hatched it's more like a hatch and using some drywall tape with the grid put some more okra on there just building it up I'm going to start to adhere the stamped images on the deli paper and I'll do it along the edges around each side then I'm going to do it on the front of the canvas and once I get them down I'm going to give the whole canvas a good coat of the um, matte medium just to seal everything in and dry it I'm just going to add some marks in a more like a maroon color rusty maroon uh, changing from a blunt end brush to a round brush to get more of a dot on the top just a couple just keep it three to you know three or odd number now I'm using neon orange and uh, making some masks for my stamps there to cover them and then I'm going to try to splatter some of that orange neon paint using a toothbrush first to get the small and then a larger brush fan brush to get the um, bigger dots bigger splatters taking removing the mask and I'm going to dry it and add one um, whole coat of um, the gloss Mod Podge. Here's my finished piece and a few up-close images. 